The Ice Dragon is the hidden menace of the Game of Thrones universe. In previous videos, we've talked about magical creatures that have brought civilizations to their knees, beings of the sea and the air that changed history. But not much is known about the Ice Dragon, a mythological creature that could face Vagar. In this video, we'll be talking about this creature, and the possibility that we might see it in the second season of The House of the Dragon. And if you like everything related to the universe of the Song of Ice and Fire, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Bienvenidos. Al Cuervo de Tres Ojos. A little over a year ago we talked on this channel, about the Ice Dragon, a mythical creature in Westeros, but since then we have not delved into the mystery it represents. References to the Ice Dragon can be found in the books of A Song of Ice and Fire, the same that inspired the Game of Thrones series and the House of the Dragon. The features of this creature are fascinating. Its legend is born on the Shivering Sea, at a point where the ships freeze upon arrival. It is a place where legends of mermaids and entities have been born, living in the depths of the Western Sea. The first thing to know about ice dragons is that they are much larger than conventional dragons, including Vagar, which means that they would be much more impressive in battle. They are said to be living ice. Just as dragons are the embodiment of fire, these ice dragons would be the embodiment of absolute cold. The eyes are blue, similar to those of white walkers, their wings are transparent, and the breath of these dragons is capable of freezing a man instantly. Just as the conventional fire of dragons is a magical fire, capable of burning much more than a conventional fire, the ice of the ice dragon is magical and can freeze everything in its path. The most interesting feature of this ice dragon is that after it dies it melts, which means that its body cannot be used by a white walker, it simply ceases to exist and turns into water. For many maesters, the story of the ice dragon is pure fantasy. We can even find the annotations of one of these maesters in the book The World of Ice and Fire, where he not only explains the features of this dragon, but claims that there have been witnesses who have seen it. Part of the book says the following. Considering that over the centuries, these great beings have been sighted by sailors from 50 nations, there may be some truth in the tales. Grand Maester Margate has proposed to explain many legends of the North, the glacial mists, the ice ships, Cannibal Bay and so on, as distorted accounts of ice dragon activity. It is an amusing idea and not devoid of elegance, but it is still purely hypothetical. In fact, no tangible evidence has ever been found that the dragons in question exist since it is assumed that when they are killed, they melt. Analyzing these texts in depth, we can understand several things. The first is that there are multiple testimonies from different people in Westeros who claim to have seen these dragons. It is not a story that is passed from generation to generation as was the Long Night, but it is a phenomenon that occurs in that area. There are sightings of these creatures, but it has never been possible to study why they melt when they die. Of course, for some maesters, this is a fantasy tale. Although they give it some validity, or say that it may have some truth, by the fact that there are so many testimonies. In one of our previous videos, we talked about how the Night King could be an entity created by the Heart of Winter. In Game of Thrones, there is a struggle between death and life, the Lord of Light, and the Lord of Eternal Winter, Fire, and Ice. In this eternal struggle of entities, dragons, white walkers, and men, are tokens or soldiers of this battle, which could be happening for thousands of years in that world. The Night King is the answer to the creation of Azor Ahai by the Lord of Light. Therefore, the Ice Dragon could be a magical response of that entity of winter to the Fire Dragons. Although George Martin has never explained in depth the veracity of the gods in this universe, it is most likely that these entities are positive or negative forces that have been fighting for a long time and possibly came to this planet on an asteroid. 
but that is a topic for another video. Returning to the subject of the ice dragons, there are theories that the ice wall was created using these creatures. Perhaps this is the reason why it is so big because magical creatures helped to create it. Now let's theorize about the future of Game of Thrones. If the Jon Snow series finally gets the green light, we could see Jon return to take back what is rightfully his. Bran could take control of Drogon since he mentioned at the end of Game of Thrones that he would be looking for Drogon. Jon Snow could then take an ice dragon to confront him if Bran is confirmed to be evil. As for the House of the Dragon, there are no references in the books to ice dragons during the Dance of the Dragons. But if these creatures really exist, they are supposed to have existed during this time as well. And it is thought that this second season will show the ice wall. Although it has been speculated that we might see White Walkers, I think one way to surprise us and introduce something new would be to show an ice dragon, even if it's an isolated event that doesn't add anything to the main story. Although it is unlikely that we will see it in this series, I think it would be a good thing, since after all, the series has the word dragon in its title. As a curious fact on this topic, George Martin released a book about an ice dragon, which has been mentioned as not being part of the Game of Thrones universe, but perhaps in the future, we may create a video about that book, telling its story, and how it could be connected to Game of Thrones. But tell me what you think about all this. Are you interested in knowing more about the Ice Dragon? And for more videos of the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series as well as the books by George R. R. Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.